That's what they want to shoot. At the end of this day, soldiers from Grim Troop of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment had their skills and resolve tested. However, the beginning of this day starts with a typical foot march from Forward Operating Base Airborne that led them here, the Afghan Uniform Police Department in the Maiden Shard District. First Lieutenant Michael B. Matthews, 3rd Platoon Leader of Grim Troop, sits down with the Afghans to discuss the security of the outer laying areas. So, Major Halil said that because we were there, we ended up sort of coming at the right time because he had wanted to clear an objective that he suspected was a rocket cache site. So he sent a mounted column down a road into the green zone, which is an area that we can't walk, but they can drive and they often go through as they move. So they attached a guide with us and as we moved up on the mountain to the north. And that's when this normal foot patrol changed into a six hour battle. Yeah, yeah. The biggest experience was the enemy's TTP. Um, usually they'll shoot at us and then run. This time they actually stayed and fought. It's a new experience for us. Uh, usually it's, they take a couple of shots, throw down their weapons and then walk away and we're usually unable to identify who might have shot at us. But this time and they kept engaging us and we were able to return fire. We were able to uh, fixate the enemy in a one location uh, and that's the first time we've been able to do that since we've been out here. Once enemy forces were isolated, Afghan reinforcements swept the green zone where evidence suggests three insurgents were killed and one injured. The firefight proved to be invaluable, boosting not only the Afghan National Security Forces' confidence and fighting ability, but also the intelligence gained. It was invaluable for Grim Troop as well. This was their first firefight in Afghanistan, and they did it without a single injury. Reporting from Forward Operating Base Airborne, I'm Sergeant Joe Della Pena.